friends, Romans, fan collectors. What you see here has been the biggest thorn in my side for two years. I can concede to that. It's Jack Williamson 54 here. And whenever he got this fan, it didn't just work. Became friends. We just we were just friends two years ago. And today it finally works perfectly. I paid $175 for this fan from an offer up listing in Madison, Wisconsin, of which I can link in the description. Upon arrival, it was dead. At first I thought it was the stator, since it looks black as sin. Then I came to the conclusion that it was the cap. But I didn't have one and I was too lazy to go get one. And it was kind of just on the back burner anyway. The opportunity finally came up. When I came over and gave him a capacitor. And while I don't know if it even was the capacitor. It, it still has a new one in it. And well. It's alive. I do have a spotlight kit for this fan. However, I choose to showcase this fan without it. As whenever we tried to put it on, one of our connections came loose. We don't want to have to worry about that again. I will try it with the spotlight kit at a later date. However, I want to get this thing up and on the internet before I do. The Casablanca Classic in the background is next on the video list. Yep. This thing actually runs very well. Yep. There's an arm that that there's a there's an arm that's a little low, but otherwise it's. It doesn't even wobble much at all. That's the important part. High. Medium and high don't seem to have that much of a difference. Maybe because of the higher value capacitor we threw in it. Like, there's a difference, but it's not that noticeable. I mean, it's noticeable, but like, it's not... I don't know. I don't have much experience with 1.1 amp originals, so I have no idea if that's how it's even supposed to be. It's pretty fast for 1.1, I'm pretty sure. Reverse because of why the hell not? Or is this in forward now? Nope, oh, that's reverse. Hmm. I didn't move as much air as I expected it to. On forward? Yeah. It moves a ton of air. I don't know. Maybe the airflow pattern is weird. Yeah. Well, it moves a ton of air. Oh, here we go. It's an original. This chrome. It normally takes me multiple takes to get a video just right. This is no exception. I like what I said, but I just don't like how often I appeared in frame. Friends, Romans, fan collectors. What you see here has been the biggest thrown in my side 
for at least two years. It's a 1988 Hunter Original. And the S? This is Chrome. It's Chrome. In fact, this is technically a 2nd century original. That's right. This is technically a 2nd century. Apparently before the really funky modern looking one, they had traditional originals in strange finishes. With built-in spotlights. Or built-in lights. Actually not even strange finishes now that I think of it. This is the only strange finish. This fan does have the built-in spotlight kit, however we choose to demonstrate it without it, we being Jack Williams in 54 and I, as whenever we tried to put it on something always went wrong. A connection came undone or something. Yep. It was stupid. The switch cap is shoddily painted platinum, but for the video, it works. Is it permanent? No. I'm getting a switch cap at some point in the future that I will chrome plate. However, as I stated, for the video, it's good. The switch housing is slightly not centered. It's much better than it was though, so, hey. When I install it, permanently, it will be, well, basically cosmetically restored since the mechanics are good. And while I don't always do this, since it's nice enough outside, I will take it through those speeds in reverse. And as per usual with my channel, reverse setting means reverse order.
And furthermore, if my DSLR hasn't died, I'll take you through some close-ups of it. Long spin down. It is! Awesome. At least the screw fell right there. And that concludes the video. Thank you for watching and enjoy the show!